Welcome back to Run Junkie. Day two in the books. It's day three right now. That's when you're watching this. Mm -hmm. But day two happened yesterday. That's right. And it was insane. We have nine new Olympians. Nine. On. Nine. 10,000 meters. It was a hot one out there. Oh, yeah. But Molly Huddle asserted, asserted so her good. dominance, led from the front, and it came down to Molly Huddle and Emily Infeld with 400 meters to go. But Molly Huddle ran away with When's it. When's the last time Molly Huddle's lost a U.S. championship? It's been 84 years. Emily Infeld makes her first team, finishes second, as does Marielle Hall, who finishes third. But all three of these ladies are entered in the 5K Ooh. later this week. Think any of them are gonna pull a Ben True, scratch, uh, make the 5K team, scratch a 10K? If so, Kellen Taylor. You're, might make you're it. an Olympian. So you're telling me there's a chance. Moving on into the 800. A few surprises. Chanel Price doesn't make the final. World Indoor Champ in 2014. Yeah. Doesn't make the final here for the Olympic trials. On the men's side, we had a protest. Formal oh, protest. Shaquille Walker, Craig Engels, both filed protests against each other. Turns out Craig Engels wins the protest. He's moving on to a nine person final. Three NCAA athletes in the 800 final. We've got Raven Rogers in the women's final. And Isaiah Harris, a freshman at Penn State, makes the final. And then Craig Engels. Man, I love college. Hey. Over the women's discus, three new Rio Olympians Whitney Ashley, Shelby Vaughn, and Kelsey Carr. Two of them collegiates. Two. Wisconsin and AM. Yeah. And in the women's long jump, Brittany Reese jumps the second, ties Marion Jones for the second farthest U.S. jump ever. 7.31 meters. 7.31 meters. That's like... Tiana Bartoletta gets second, and Janae Deloach gets third. But Bartoletta, super impressive, is jumping in the finals, steps off the track to win her 100 prelim. A la Jerry and Lawson in NCAAs. <laughs> Speaking of... Jerry and Lawson in the 100. A lot of his top stars make it through, but Trayvon Bromel, who's been dealing with an injury, he's been tweeting up a storm for the past like month. He, guess uh, what, folks? Don't don't worry anymore. He's back. He 994, is back. wind legal. Whew. Looks outstanding here at Hayward Field. He's blessed. He is blessed. I feel very blessed. On the women's side, all the top ladies get through. Jenna Pernina, English Gardner, looking fast, looking smooth. Candace Hill into the semifinal. Can a high schooler make an Olympic team? We'll find out tomorrow, uh, today, because that's when you're watching this, when the 100-meter finals go down. Also, the 400 finals are going to go down today. But yesterday, which is where we're filming this right now, 400 semis went through. Tony McQuay. Tony McQuay. 44-24. Hell of a PB. This guy's a back. He was a stud in 2012 and 2013 was down and out in 2014, 2015, but now he's back, now officially. He's back. PR in the semis, look out for him. And we unfortunately may have seen the last race by Jeremy Warner, looking strong in his semifinal, but kind of pulled up with an injury with 100 meters to go, receives a standing ovation at Hayward Field as Olympic champion should, should get. No Sonia Richards Ross in the 400, no Jeremy Warner in the 400. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I think I need a hug. Anyway. Today, going down, 400 finals, 100 finals. Also, your shoes, a little better. They ain't bad. You got your fix. <laughs>